Greenville, South Carolina has been named one of the best places to live and relocate to in the entire United States. Sources like USA Today, Southern Living Magazine have named Greenville as one of the best places to live in the country. And today what we're going to do is we're going to compare living in Greenville versus living in one of Greenville's suburbs. Let's do it. My name is Will Sawyer, your friend in real estate here in the upstate of South Carolina. And it's our intentions with this YouTube channel that we are your number one resource for all things that you need to know about Greenville if you're considering relocating to the area or if you're just interested in learning more about our great city. If you like this content, please remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment in the comments. We would love to interact with you there in the comments. So first things first, Greenville. Now, if you live in downtown Greenville or right around downtown Greenville, you're gonna have a lot of access to a lot of stuff, right? Number one, parks, like the park that we're standing in, which is Falls Park, which is the park that you probably see if you type in Google Greenville, South Carolina. The Liberty Bridge is right here behind me. The falls are right here. The Reedy River runs through downtown Greenville right behind me. Uh, other parks would include Unity Park, which is the newest park in Greenville, one of Greenville's, if not Greenville's largest park. Other parks downtown would be McPherson Park, where a lot of people go and play pickleball. And Gower Park, which is currently being renovated right now to include a bunch of different stuff that wasn't previously there before, including a lot of pickleball courts. So in addition to parks, of course, you got a lot more stuff like restaurants and places to have a drink. So if you're living around Greenville or in Greenville, uh, you're going to have quick access to Universal Joint, which is on Stone Avenue. So if you live in North Main, you could walk to Universal Joint or Moe's Barbecue. Or if you live along the Lawrence Road corridor, you could possibly walk to the upcoming Taco Boy or to Home Team Barbecue, uh, Willie Taco, a lot of restaurants along Lawrence Road as well. And if you're actually in the heart of downtown, there's a ton of restaurants and places to grab a drink after work or on the weekends, like Up on the Roof, which is probably the most popular rooftop bar here in Greenville, or Gianna, which would be some fine Italian dining, or Sobeys, which is the hallmark of the culinary scene in downtown Greenville. And if you live downtown, whether it be Augusta Road, North Main, Overbrook, west side of Greenville, you're gonna have the easiest access to the hospitals that are in downtown Greenville compared to the suburbs around Greenville. So maybe you wanna to move to Greenville, but you don't wanna live downtown Greenville, right? And for good reason. I mean, the average price point in downtown Greenville is just over $500,000. So if that might exceed your budget, that's totally fine. Well, let's start looking at the suburbs, which you can be in, in downtown Greenville in like 20 to 25 minutes at pretty much any suburb around Greenville um, if you choose to move out to the suburbs. So first suburb that I would consider would be Simpsonville, um, which is about 20, 25 minutes south of downtown Greenville. Um, it's gonna be a number of things to do here. It's very well planned out, very well built. Uh, there's a number of gyms, there's a number of restaurants, there's a number of schools and churches, and a lot of residential communities. So if you live in Simpsonville, depending on where you are, Simpsonville split into two. So 385 runs right in the middle of Simpsonville. 29681 is like the Five Forks side. And then 29680 is like the West Georgia Road, Harrison Bridge Road side. So uh, if you choose to live in Simpsonville, Simpsonville's got a really cute main street with a lot of different businesses there. Um, some that come to mind would be Farm Fresh Fast, which is the best lunch spot, in my opinion, in Greenville and Greenville County. And then we have Sidewall Pizza, the warehouse at Vaughn's, which has a number of vendors. Um, so Simpsonville would be a really great place for you to check out once you come into Greenville. So you'll have quick access to emergency rooms and doctor's offices in Simpsonville as well. And over the last 60 days, the median price point in the greater Simpsonville area is $350,000. Perhaps you checked out downtown Greenville or around Greenville, you checked out Simpsonville, you're not really feeling any of those. Well, there's also Taylor's and Greer, which is northeast of downtown Greenville. And depending on where you are in Taylor's or Greer, you're gonna be 20, I mean, maybe even 15 minutes to downtown Greenville, all the way 
to probably 35 minutes outside of downtown. So Taylor's is your first town. It's the closest one to Greenville. So notable things there would be Sear and Thai, which is probably the best Thai restaurant in the area. Um, you have Wade Hampton High School, which has been the highest rated public high school in Greenville County. Um, and then past Taylor's, you have Greer. So Greer is known for its beautiful downtown that has uh, recently been redone. It attracts a lot of visitors and a lot of people who live around Greer love to go downtown Greer on the weekends or in the evenings to grab a bite to eat or walk around perhaps um, and get a drink. So if you're in Greer, Greer spans kind of a big area. Um, if you're on the southern side of Greer, that's places like Pelham Road, um, all the way to Interstate 85. So Thornblade Golf Club's there at the end of Pelham Road. And if you span along Pelham Road, there's a number of businesses, there's business parks. So you, may be even, you might even work on Pelham Road. Um, and then that connects you to Haywood Road, which is where the mall is gonna be. And that puts you on 385. Or you're right along the 85 corridor as well. But if you're on the northern side of Greer, right, you're gonna be much closer to the mountains. Uh, you're going to be uh, closer to Lake Robinson, which is a beautiful lake that we've sold property on. And if you're, say, a weekend warrior, you like to be outside, the northern part of Greer might be good for you to check out. So also along Pelham Road, you'll have Paywood Medical Center, um, which has the children's hospital there and an emergency room as well. And if you're thinking about buying a house in Taylor's or Greer, uh, over the last 60 days, the median sales price in those areas has been about $330,000. So if none of those fit the bill for you, all right, I have more. Maybe you could consider Easley, Powdersville, and maybe even Pickens. So Easley and Powdersville are kind of interchangeable. Um, Powdersville is going to be just southwest of Greenville. Easley is going to be just west of Greenville. And Pickens is going to be just northwest of Greenville. So if you live in Powdersville, uh, you're gonna have really easy access to 85 if you need to jump downtown Greenville to go to work or go down to Anderson to go to work. Um, if you live in Easley, you know, I've said this in past videos, but Easley really acts as its, as its own town right next to Greenville. So pretty much everything that you need on a weekly basis is gonna be in Easley. However, it's only 15 minutes, 20 minutes, to downtown Greenville if you need to come into Greenville. And then Pickens finally would be on the northern side um, of these areas and Pickens is its own county. It's a small town and you're gonna have really easy access to Lake Keeley um, if you live in Pickens. So there's a lot of great energy around all three of these towns. Um, so definitely some great places to check out. Over the last 60 days um, in this general area, uh, the median price is in the high 200s at about $289,000. So if none of those fit the bill for you, I got the perfect place. Traveler's Rest, which is just north of downtown Greenville. So we're talking like 20, 25 minutes maybe. Um, and if you're up in Traveler's Rest near Marietta, near the North Carolina state line, you're actually gonna be maybe 30, 35, possibly even 40 minutes from downtown Greenville, but where downtown Traveler's Rest is, let's say 20, 25 minutes. So a lot of great things are happening in Traveler's Rest. It's been named by many publications as one of the best small towns in the country. Um, so there's a really cute main street there with a lot of great businesses. Um, Community Tap is a great place to go and unwind with a craft beer or a glass of wine or Tandem would be a great place to go and get brunch on Saturday or Sunday morning. And there's a gym, there's a brewery, there's a lot of neighborhoods um, in this general area, and there's a lot of newer neighborhoods in this general area. Now, Traveler's Rest used to be a small foothills town. It's not really like that anymore. Um, the Pine Zone Development, which is right up beside Highway 25 below Paris Mountain, is really changing the face of Traveler's Rest. Um, and given Traveler's Rest, you know, this kind of modern, new urban feel to it, Traveler's Rest is super walkable. Um, the Swamp Rabbit Trail starts right above Traveler's Rest and then runs through downtown along Main Street 
and winds its way down into downtown Greenville, right where we are now. And then, of course, goes down south of downtown Greenville. Uh, so a lot of people who want to get on the trail pretty easily on the weekends or have quick access to the Blue Ridge Mountains prefer to live in Traveler's Rest. And Traveler's Rest has more of a slower pace, small town feel than some of these other areas like Simpsonville, like Malden, like Greer and Taylor's, and some people like that too. So over the last 60 days, the median price for Traveler's Rest is a little bit higher, $457,000. So you definitely pay for that rolling topography and that more exclusive fill that Traveler's Rest provides. So there's a lot to consider and think about when you're thinking about making a move, right? And that's what we're here to help you with. If you're thinking about moving to Greenville and you're interested in Greenville itself or one of the suburbs around Greenville, feel free to reach out to me and chat with me about these different areas at my number below. Or you can shoot me an email at my email below. And I would love to chat with you about making this transition for you and possibly your family here to the upstate of South Carolina. So again, my name is Will Sawyer. I'm your friend in real estate here in the upstate of South Carolina. And if you found this information helpful, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment in the comments. Perhaps we missed a suburb that you wanted us to include or talk about. If we did, we didn't mean to. Leave us a comment and we'll be sure to address that in future videos. And we'll also go into each of these suburbs in a little bit more detail and comparing them to each other in future videos as well. So, hope you stick around on the channel and until then, peace.